As always, this is a 100% cotton t-shirt that's been soaked in soda ash for at least 20 minutes and spun out until it's just damp. It is turned inside out since this is an ice dye and I have marked the center line. So let's go ahead and do this flip. Okay, so we've got this. I'm going to pull that just to straighten that out a little. And I'm going to figure out where I want this angle to be. And I think I'm going to let it just not quite touch this back right here. And I'm going to flip this over, pulling these two parts. So I should do it without too much of a mess. Well, I said that. That wasn't the case. Touch that up because that went in the wrong spot. Hold that again. Flip it back over and it should realign. So I've got this odd new center line here. All right, got some clips. I'll go ahead and clip this in place. Because this center line is going to have a large tendency of moving when you start doing this. So I'm just going to start scrunching this up. Obviously, this part where there's twice as many layers is going to be a more difficult scrunch. Go ahead and grab the sinew and we'll do piece by piece. And these aren't super tight, it's just more to kind of hold up there. going to go all the way across this. You could use rubber bands for this. Um, I just happen to have the sinew sitting here. And we'll crisscross this. And then I'll come in and tighten some of this up. All right. And you could use rubber bands for the entirety on this. You just wouldn't be able to pull it as tight. So that's what we have. Off to die. For this, in no particular order, are the colors I'm going to be using. These first are all from Dharma. Using Black Cherry, Cerulean Blue, Orange Crush, Bright Green, Scarlet, Daffodil, Deep Purple, Chartreuse, and Amber Rep Waves. From Custom Colors, I'm using their Orange MX2R, and from Fabric Dye Company, I'm using Aged Wine. I'm pretty sure these are the brightest colors I have. I could be wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and go with this, and we'll see how this turns out.
Alright, we'll go ahead and add ice. Let that melt through and go on to the next step. All right, it's melted through. Let's go ahead and flip this. Do the same thing on this side and ice it up. All right, we'll let that melt through. All right, it's melted through, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch it out to a bowl. And then I made up some liquid of the Bluebird. And I'm just going to pour that in. There we go. I'm just shooting for that part right there. So that's about 14 ounces of the Bluebird. It's pretty saturated, so I'm not sure how well this is actually going to bond. We'll see. I'll go ahead and let this sit for another 18 hours or so, and then we'll do the washout. All right, it is time for the washout. All right, let's see how this looks. So I'll go through this in the wash and we'll take a final look. All righty, here we go with the front. And the back. Is this the same as just doing a left-right symmetry? No, I don't think it is. I think it lends itself to more faces than just a left-right symmetry. You can barely see that crease, that extra line on that section right there. I'm not saying that would be the case anytime. Maybe it was just luck that you can't see it very well, but anyway. Now looking at it from my perspective, I see a dragon here and I'm not even sure, like, like a dragon breathing fire and the fire surrounding. But looking at the screen in front of me that's feeding from the camera from above, I don't see that same thing. I see a distinct chin here, comes up, we've got ears, and then we've got a big headdress type of thing with eyes, nose, the whole face. Completely different from two different perspectives. Both are equally cool. Um, I think the back is basically the same. Might be a little bit of difference. No, no, it's, it's different. So on the back, <laughs> from my perspective, I see like a totem, maybe that type of thing. Uh, if not, I'm not sure what this would be. It could be small face, maybe some flames coming up. And then this doesn't look like anything from my perspective. From the camera, I see like a lion with a human mouth or something similar to that complete with ears up here yeah that's that's weird or something with, with rocket engines blasting off from the fire right here i don't know what to say all right do i like it no it's it's not yes i like this this is awesome if it was my size, I'd probably keep it. Um, my son won't steal it. It's larger than he wears. So I guess this is going out to be sold. I really like it. 
I'm really shocked I didn't get the fading um, because of the extra layers, but now I'm curious what else I can do. What do you think? What are your suggestions? Let me know down below, and until next time, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe if you like what you see.